Yes, sir. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died. Now notice. Okay, uh, I see. Y'all are not showing me all the images of the of the poor man with Abraham. Yes. Give me one more. Yep. So remember, it's talking about Abraham and Lazarus. Okay. Read. The rich man also died. Now, as Christ says, the rich man also died. The one that was in purple and fed sumptuously every day, he died. Go ahead. And was buried. Then it says, and he was buried. So this rich man, this which represents our people that have benefits in this world, died. So this rich man, this which represents our people that have benefits in this world, died. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This video is going to be entitled Bishop Nate Botches the Breakdown of the Parable of Lazarus. Or Bishop Nate Botches the Parable of Lazarus and the Rich Man. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We'll give all praise to Abinaw. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Kakwadash. Peace and blessings to the blood ones baptized in the new covenant for the mission of sins. And, uh, Today, man, I was going to go in on Lazarus a little bit because um, I was watching a video like you guys just seen in uh, IUIC and uh, Manata Zakba speaking about the parable of Lazarus is what they call it, right, GMS. But, you know, us beloveds know that what the word parable ain't even what in the book of Luke 16, man. All right, but the word parable just means comparison, but it, it also means what... Uh, for something to be literal or figurative these guys think um when the lord was speaking about uh lazarus that was a uh it was a parable like it was a myth or something like bro lazarus really died man lazarus really died israel so the lord yahweh Shah said that uh, lazarus died even in luke 16 he said he died man all right and, you know, GMS is bugging out because Nate is talking about, you know, the rich man was an Israelite. Well, guess what? The rich man was an Israelite. Didn't I try to read the scriptures where there was a, a certain young rich ruler that wouldn't, uh, the Lord Yahweh Shah told him to uh, sell, sell every goddamn thing and, and go give it to the poor and follow me. And that guy wouldn't follow the Lord Yahweh Shah. He was a rich man. So right after that guy didn't want to follow the Lord Yahweh Shah, he said, hardly shall a rich man enter into the kingdom of God. So he was talking about an Israelite. That was a rich Israelite that wouldn't sell all his goods and, and, and uh, bestow it upon and help the poor out, man. So it's crystal clear that it was little, the rich man is an Israelite. There's precepts on that. And also, Lazarus literally died, man. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 1. Then you have a shot six days. What then you have a shot six days before the Passover came to Bethany where Lazarus was. And that word was does mean to exist where Lazarus was, which had been dead, which what which had been dead. So Lazarus literally was in the spirit realm, Jake. That's not a pair. That's not a parable. That's not a, uh, a metaphor. Ock. He was literally in the spirit realm, man. All right. Which where Lazarus was, which had been dead, which was what? Which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead, man. When he said he raised from the dead, his spirit was in the realm of the dead, man, which is Hades or Sheol in the Hebrew. All right. Which is Shawar. All right. John 12 and 2. There they made him a supper and Martha served. But Lazarus. Uh, one of them sat at the table with him. All right, so let's get some more. John chapter 12, verse 9. Much people of the Jews. Much what? People of the Jews. Therefore knew that he was there. And they came not for Yahweh Shah's sake only, right? But they, that they might see Lazarus also. See, they wanted to see Lazarus. They See, Jake is carnal as hell. They got to physically see something all the time to believe it. See that? They wouldn't believe. Uh, uh, resurrections and things of that nature was possible unless they seen it, man. 
whom he raised from the dead. Where he raised him from? From the dead. No, he raised him from heaven. Whom he raised from the dead, man. All right? So he raised him from the dead, man. All right? Lazarus was literally in the, in, in the uh, realm of the dead, man. John chapter 12, verse 10. All right, so Lazarus, man, he really died, bruh. That ain't no damn parable uh, or no myth. He literally was in the spirit realm. And the Lord Yahweh Shah raised him from the dead. What? To, sh to, to show the example of his power in this new covenant, man. That it may be a witness to all Israel. All right, this is John chapter 12, verse 10. But the priest, but the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus to death, man. So these, these, the, the, your top priests, these is the guys that's preaching death and destruction, man. Right? But they call they said the prophets of gloom, the prophets of doom. You know, cursing is in their mouth, man. Right? They was, they was, they was all coming together so they could put Lazarus to death after he's been raised from the dead, man. How wicked is that, man? But you want these niggas in the kingdom? Niggas that's trying to, here it is, Lazarus, the Lord had rose Lazarus from the dead. And your top priest Israelites was trying to put Lazarus to dead, put him back to death, man. John chapter 12, verse 17, the people therefore that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. So they bear record that Lazarus was raised out of the grave, man. Which his body, his physical body came out of the physical grave, which was a sepulcher, right? And they had the, uh, you know, the stone and all that. So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's hell as in what? The grave as in the earth or the sepulcher, right? Where, where the physical body go. All right. That's, that's the first level <laughs> to it. All right. It's levels to it, man. And then what his spirit was called for from what? Out of Abraham's bosom, which is in Sheol. That's in even in the book of Josephus. If I was going to get Josephus. Sheol was in, I mean, Abraham's bosom was in Sheol, man. All right. Even the 70 missing verses goes in on that golf, man. About how the righteous was able to see the wicked being tormented, man. Remember the scriptures tell you in Job, hell is naked before the Lord, man. Hell is naked before the Lord, man. So the Lord see everything, man. All right? So what? When you're in the Lord, you, you can see. Okay? So Lazarus was literally in the spirit realm, man. All right? And his body was what? In that uh, sepulcher, man. John chapter 11, verse 44. And he that was dead, and what? He that was dead. So Lazarus was literally dead, man. His physical body. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, man. So he had grave clothes on, man. And his face was bound about with a napkin. So they wrapped him up, man. All right? So Israelites, they wrapped, they wrapped uh, their bodies up just like they did in the ancient uh, Egypt, man. Basically like a damn mummy, man. Even the Lord Yahweh Shai's body was wrapped up when he when he uh when he died, man. All right. So um Lazarus was literally uh dead, man. He had on grave clothes, man. It said his face was bound about with a napkin. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, loose him and let him go. See that Lazarus believe represent the beloveds that believe in the Lord Yahweh Shai. If you believe in the Lord Yahweh Shai, you're gonna live, man. And that's 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 what what uh, Lazarus represent the beloveds, man.